Mastering the past perfect tense, regular verbs unleashed. Hello language learners! Welcome back to another episode of our English grammar series. Today, we are going to dive deep into the world of regular verbs. More specifically, we'll be exploring the past perfect tense and how it's used in affirmative sentences. Remember, mastering these details will help you greatly in understanding and using English more effectively. So, let's jump right in. Before we dive into examples, let's first understand what we mean by past perfect tense. In simple words, this tense is used to express something that happened before another action in the past. It can also show something that happened before a specific time in the past. In terms of structure, the past perfect tense consists of two parts. The past tense of the verb, have, had, plus the past participle of the main verb. With regular verbs, forming the past participle is straightforward. You simply add ed to the base form of the verb. For example, for the verb, work, the past participle is, worked. When we talk about affirmative sentences in the past perfect tense, we're talking about sentences that express a positive action that occurred before another action or time in the past. Here's the formula, subject plus had plus past participle of the verb. Let's see this in action with some examples. 1. She had worked at the bookstore before she moved to New York. 2. They had finished their meal before the concert started. 3. I had studied French before I went to Paris. In these sentences, the action of working at the bookstore, finishing the meal, and studying French all happened before another action or time in the past. As with any aspect of language learning, practice is key. Try creating your own sentences using the past perfect tense with regular verbs. Remember the formula, subject plus had plus past participle. Also, keep in mind that the action you're discussing must have occurred before another past action or time. That's a wrap for this episode on the past perfect tense of regular verbs. We hope this helps clear up any confusion and gives you the confidence to use this tense in your English conversations and writings. Remember, language learning is a journey, and every step you take brings you closer to fluency. So keep practicing, stay curious, and always strive to learn more. See you in the next video.